Hey guys, Rio and Ethan here. Coming out to a video talking about how to finesse fish or how to rig a finesse style bait. So for this video, we're gonna do a wacky worm. There's many other kinds of finesse fishing you can do. You can do a drop shot. You, like I said, drop shot or wacky. That's about all that I know of you can do. So the first thing you wanna do is get a good finesse style hook. Let's say Gamagatsu finesse hook. It's a one knot, small enough, you don't want anything too big for finesse style fishing. Now, depending on what kind of line you're fishing, you're fishing 15 pound braid, you may want to use a different knot to attach it to the hook. Now, if you're using like a monofilament or you know anything that's like not braid, I go for regular like clinch knot or anything like you prefer. For braid, I go with a uh, polymer knot. So, you don't know what a polymer knot is, you want to take your line. A decent amount of tag end out. If you get, like I said, this braid, you want to wet it down so it's thin as possible. You want to double it up over itself. You want to put it through the eye of the hook. Get the eye. As so you pull it through, you want a decent amount of working end. We don't want it too close to your end of your tag end. So, what we want to do is you want to take your line that's on the other end of your hook that you doubled up, you want to make a small overhand knot. You want to cinch it down right into the eye of the hook. Now you're going to have your hook, your main line, a tag end, and a small loop over here. What you want to do is you want to take that loop, you want to stick it through it underneath the hook like this. The camera can see that. You want to pull your main line so it snugs up. Now obviously you want to wet it, which I didn't, but make sure you do that. And clip your tag end as close as to the eye as possible. Now the next thing, you can do is there's two ways you can rig it wacky. You get a wacky rig tool like this where you slide an o-ring down, which is put the, your bait in there like this, which is a five inch um, Yamamoto stick bait. You want to stick it on there like this right in the middle. And then you would take your hook and put that right through the uh, o-ring. You fish it like that, or you can completely just take off the o-ring, not use it, you can just stick your hook right through the center, or as close to the center as possible of the worm. Straight through like this. Like also, I didn't get the center, but it'll do the same purpose. If anyone doesn't know what a wacky rig, a wacky rig is, you hold it in the center, so when you jig on the rod, it's gonna kind of bounce through the bottom of the worm like this. Now it's a pretty easy technique. Bass love it. I've heard smallmouth love it. You know, fish just go crazy for it. It just looks like a dying bait fish. So if you guys found this video helpful, press that like button, drop a comment, maybe you can subscribe. If you like videos like this, there's tons of videos that links on my channel. I have you know camping videos coming out, me and my buddies. So if you like that kind of stuff, stick around. Thanks for watching.